But in Arab, I'll just find it. Then for us, they go back in Arab and they find Arab. So I said, okay. I keep doing this. My son called me. He said, you're coming home. Thank you. 
Who's celebrating? Who's celebrating birthday this month? So I always say, your birthday is on the eighth. Abi, who again? I am. Come, Tamwa. Hold on, hold on. After our brother has given his testimony, the two of you will come as next. Uh, hold on, first, hold on. Please give your testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for today. Amen. Uh, today makes it a uh, one week in UK. To thank God because testimonies are the proof of God's eyes among us. Yes. And God will be very faithful. And uh, when you appreciate God, it's an opportunity for more. Yeah. You know, the, I understand that very well. And I, do, I want to thank God for my family far back in Nigeria. I left my family, yeah, my, my wife and two children. Mm. They, will, they will be here. They will be here soon. That God Amen. is faithful to faith. Amen. Indeed, too faithful to faith. Amen. Too reliable, too dependable to faith. I want to appreciate God. I came in on Sunday last week, and uh, it has been very stormy. I must say it. But God has been very faithful. Bros, like, you don't know, hold on. You are, you are, you are uh, wearing cloth like this. How? Your, your skin is strong. <laughs> hey, we can, you can, you are wearing clothes like this. I'm sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> you. Sorry to then I came on Sunday, and um, the major problem I had was uh, the challenge of getting an accommodation. Yeah. As a student, and that had been that had been a very terrible issue, but I was able to uh, stay in an hostel for like three days uh, in an hotel for like three days, and uh, Thursday, Friday, it was stormy for me. I slept in the bus station because I couldn't have where to lay my head. But I know very well what God told me before I left Nigeria. I saw God showed me a revelation where I packed into a family, but I didn't know. But I already knew that I was coming to UK to see with the family. But in the God, God does things divinely. Uh, there was a divine arrangement. I don't know. It was on on Wednesday. I met this brother, uh, my brother, brother, brother Uchina. By divine connection, someone connected me to him, and I called him. And before you know, the thing was started from there, and he was able to contact the person he was staying with. And uh, I want to thank God for for people like brother, like Dickin, Adikuli. Amen. God has used him uh, in a diverse way from what, what I heard from him. And God is faithful. He didn't know what he did, but I understood it spiritually, what God did. Amen. And uh, I want to thank God for this day. God used him to put a roof over me. Amen. And I want to appreciate God for that. And, and uh, he didn't know the extent of what he did, but I want to tell him today, before everybody, that uh, God... God is going to visit him because accepting a servant of God is means open heaven for him. Amen. And I'm saying boldly that God is going to do something beyond human imagination. Amen. And God will turn around the captivity of his family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God and the very faithful. I must say and I want to thank God for being UK because it was by divine arrangement. Amen. And I know that God is going to use me great on, the, on this land. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And God will bless that family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, you, you may not understand the, the gravity and the extent of the gratefulness of our brother. When you come to the UK, the first challenge is what? Accommodation. In short, if I start my own today, <laughs> My sister knows. <laughs> he knows what he's talking. If you come to the UK and you didn't have accommodation challenge, you are you really, you, really, you fall from heaven. Accommodation is always a challenge. But we thank God that, uh, as he said, people like uh, Dikina Dekule, who has a, a heavy heart, uh, do wear. Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm from Edo. It's not who has that give, but who want to give will always give. Many people will have the type of accommodation in house. Either you are, you are sleeping on that, in the, it's none of their business. Ah, bros, you try. You just came to you, you can see what the club you are wearing. <laughs> you are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Any other one? I saw that very good. Today is a testimony day. Well, let's clap for our sister. Let's clap for our sister. Yeah.
you know, you know, brother came and gave us a song. So let's start saying how to give it, give a. Of the 
the daughter has to evacuate, my beloved daughter, success, have to evacuate her room and go and join the boys. What type of love? Who can show that kind of love? And then we came. Me and my wife were not in one room. My daughter did not even stay with us, went and stay with the children. We were in the house, and I became the grandfather of the house. I started giving command. I mean, I started giving command in the house. Everybody was expecting because I'm the elder. Everybody, people that were not washing plate, I put time table for everybody was washing plate. Early in the morning, I was sitting at start cleaning floor. The children are sleeping. I said, No, it cannot happen. I took charge. Why? How? Because they show us what? Love. They accepted us. The children, all of them, to today. <laughs> and as God will do it, when we're getting a house, we got a house close to the pastor's house. I mean, so what we are saying is that. The little opportunity, how you will help, try and what? Help others. Try and help others. If as they help you, you help others. Mm. Other people help others. You know, where a brother and servant go, when this hand use uh, pour water to this one, and this one you pour water to this one, what happened? She be wash and clean. So, we thank God for today. Each time people give testimony about accommodation, I'm always touched. Because if you didn't experience it, you won't know what God has done for you. You are welcome. So where are the people for birthday? Where is uh, the Mowakom? Let's mommy pray for you. Yeah. Who again? So I'm going to say, it's two of you, are we? Father, I pray for your children. In this month, you will not die. Come to the front. You will not die. You will leave. The hand of the enemy will not see you. Father, I cover your soul with the blood of Jesus. Father, I cover their head with the blood of Jesus. You are seeing this year, he will see next year. The enemy will not see you. Father, preserve this one. You are unkillable. That's a great song. You will preach. You will preach. You will preach the gospel. You will preach the gospel. Nothing can stop you. It is certain. More testimony are coming. God, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. You are seen today. You will see the end. I drag your sister back to this country. The first born will come and join you to celebrate. No power will tie her dying in Jesus. Father, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. You will not die. You have seen today, you will see the end of this year. Next year, you are coming back to celebrate more in the name of Jesus. It is said. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. You will not die. You will live and see your children. children. You are seen today, you will see the end. In the name of Jesus. No weapon form of fortune against you shall prosper. It is settled. Happy birthday in advance all of you. Amen. Happy birthday. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's stand up for Pastor Holder. What was that? Oh. Hallelujah. Did you not even play? You have the pictures now. You saw the pictures. So, and I call it so it's the. I call it so it's the. In Facebook, it was fantastic. I have passed a cup of coffee. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday.
Hallelujah. Uh, I just have to thank God in my life for adding more years to my life because I know He's taking me somewhere. So uh, I thank everyone that was there with me. I pray that you will fulfill your destiny. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I think immediately after my birthday, second day, fifth. Let's go to Manchester. Then I, I drove to his house, then I picked it up. So we went to Manchester. On my way coming back, I was driving almost about 85. And then, before I could realize, something hit my front whiskey. You can see, I don't just know where that something came from. See the sign of the bullet. It's like he wanted to penetrate. So I just have to thank God in my life. So as many that is here, you will not die young. So God knows the reason. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. You will live and see your children, children. The revelation came before your birthday. That was the prayer. May the applause of the wicked has failed. You will live and see your children. Children. Amen. Our God said, Abraham lived more than 100 years. <laughs> How many years? He was more. A lot. He lived and he born laughter, which is Isaac. Pray the protocol that stand against their son. Pray the protocol that stand against. 
against their children. Break the protocol that signed against your school in his father's house. Lift him up above his enemy. You shall reach your goal. You will not die. You shall leave. 50 years is a big package, but it's for goodness, not for death, not for sickness. Father, settle your soul. It is settled in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Happy birthday.
the message today. Please, let's clap your hands together. It is very, very important for 
for you to know what you say. Because there are powers in your mouth. Because the Bible says that what they have discussed in the bedroom chamber, and somebody came to talk the West and manipulate it and come to reality. Brothers and sisters, Christ. The best is your enemies. It is the monetary spirit. It is the informant that is living in your home, even in your place of work. Your best friend is the best. Those that have wings, that is what the witchcraft. Prima Saint Jesus Christ. Sometimes when we are facing some situations or challenges, sometimes you keep on asking God. Why is it that anything I do, I put my hand, it doesn't work? Why is it that each time I'm telling somebody I want to do something, that something doesn't work? It is very important in life you should know who you talk to. Amen. There are people that want to collect or they want to find information from you to know your plans for life. So that, that is why you see today many destinies have been changed, have been manipulated. Pray my Jesus Christ. Because what you have discussed, there are monetary spirits that had it. And, and your helper, helpers of your destiny, that promise you, and the diamonds, they turn their face, they turn their back on you, and they disappoint you. Because, it is not their fault. There are powers that is fighting you. Because what they have discussed in the bed chamber, and it was carried by the beds. Hallelujah. And he that has what the wings, and he manipulated it. Master Jesus Christ. I'm taking you to somewhere. Open Galatians chapter 5 for me. Galatians chapter 5, verse 10. So today we are going to pray. We are here to mourn our enemies. Whosoever that is fighting us, we don't care to know. Amen. I have confidence in you through the Lord. Yes. That you will be non otherwise minded. Yes. That you shall bear his judgment whatsoever he be. Who is going to bear the judgment? Whosoever. He that will trouble it. You. You. Pray, Master Jesus Christ. He that trouble it you. Is it your mother? Is it your brother? Is it your uncles? Is it your best friend? Bible say that person he will, he will bear his judgment. Brothers and sisters, Christ. So, in life, people have been frustrated. People keep on marrying every day. Hallelujah. And you tell your friend, I'm going to buy a car before you know the money. Come, you don't even know how to spend the money. And you tell your friend, somebody is talking to me and is asking my hand in marriage. And before you know, and the person disappoints you. Begs. He that has wings. That will say a man's enemy is where? In his household. From my own experience, I want to encourage you here today. Anything you have in mind to do in life, do it first before telling everyone around you. Hallelujah. Amen. So before we pray, I want you to go to the book of Genesis. Bible say that somebody had somebody had it. Genesis 27 verse 6. The 
Genesis chapter 27, verse 6. Yes. And uh, Rebecca spake unto Jacob, her son. Yes. Saying, Yes. Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau, thy brother, saying, Promise of Jesus Christ. Who heard it? Rebecca. Promise of Jesus Christ. That means, Esau enemy, it was from your own mother. I can't imagine. The mother the was responsible for the destiny of his son. Esau had it that what that belonged to who? Jacob. Hallelujah. Amen. And what had belonged to Esau and the mother wanted to take it to Jacob. So many who are watching me here, many destiny happily exchanged. So time when we are praying that 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 some people they refuse to even include their mother, their father. They don't want them to die, or you don't know who is your enemy. Who have heard it that you are coming to Europe? Now you are looking for a job. Somebody that carry a song for good numbers. Because Isaac says, My son, I'm getting old, I'm about to die. You have served me. It is time for me to pay you back. Somebody heard it. You can see that the person that is troubling is not even far away from you. Hallelujah. Sometimes we put our eyes because that uncle is very poor. Because that old woman in my village, it doesn't, it doesn't even have to pass away because it's too dirty. We have labeled that person with witchcraft. We don't even know who is fighting us. Hallelujah. So before we come back again, open the book of John chapter 14. I verse 30. John 14 30. Then we'll come back to Genesis again. Amen. Amen. Yes. John 14 30. Yes. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you. Who was talking? Jesus. Talking to who? The disciples. Yes. For the prince of this world comment. Yes. And had nothing in me. Okay. Why did he why did Jesus Christ muted? Not to speak anymore. Because of who? The prince of this world. There are prince of this world in your place of work. When I'm about to be promoted because of jealousy, they will begin to manipulate your house. Okay. There are place of this world, even in your organization, because you have been put there as a secretary, they're looking for a way to upset you. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. There are place of this world. Because in all your family, there is no graduates. You are the only one that is a graduate. It is time for you to get a job. Many certificates is on under the bed. It's like somebody that did not even go to school. Prince of the world. What a wicked life we live. Premaster Jesus Christ. Let's go back to Genesis 20, chapter 27, verse 4. Now. Let's see what happened to Isaac. Genesis 20. 27, verse 4. 
Genesis chapter 7, verse 4. Yes. And make me a savory meat. Yes. Such as I love. Yes. And bring it to me. Yes. That I may eat. Yes. That my soul may bless thee before. Who was speaking? The father. Isaac. Isaac. The father of who? Of his son. The the father of who? Thank you. So I don't want you to be distracted. Hallelujah. The father of his son. And who is, who is the brother? Jacob. Jacob. What did he ask me to give him? To eat. To eat. There are many of you that forget, you have forgot your parents. There are many today that traveled, they abandoned their mother, they abandoned their father. Because your mother is poor, you now become your best enemy. Sometimes the father told to his son, they want to eat. If Esau was too strong on to his father, do you think that he would not able to keep blessing him? No. Pray my Jesus Christ. Now that you are still living, this is the right time for you to help your parents. Not that they pass away before you start buying different cars, different musicians. Hallelujah. But many of us want to help. But the source is not there. Why? Because of the prince for the soul. Pray, Master Jesus. And verse 5, sir. Verse 5. Yes. And Rebecca heard when Isaac speak. Yes. To his son, his son. And his son went to the field to hunt for venison. Yes. And to bring it to his father. Yes. And Rebecca speak unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard her father speak unto his son, their brother, saying, Bring me venison and make me sour meat, that I may eat and bless thee before the Lord, before the Lord, before the Lord, before my death. From my such Jesus Christ. Yeah. Do I continue? No. Thank you, sir. You can see what we are saying. Who had it? You. Mother, Jacob mother had it. Your wife, you might be a Rebecca, you don't know. Your husband, you might be a Rebecca, you don't know. Amen. Even your children might be your Rebecca. Hallelujah. My question today, who is your Rebecca? That had it, that knows your plans, that know what you are doing, that you have been talking to. Oh, she loves me too much. I love her. She always there for me. Just a little thing. You call her, I'll call him. Please look at what I'm passing through. My husband is beating me. Before you know, and the beating is increasing every day. Who is your Rebecca? Pray, Master Jesus Christ. Say, Father, my Father, help me. Because the prince of this world is horrible. Hallelujah. When you talk of best rights, Esau came first. Before who? Jacob. Yes. Okay. So that is why you see, if you are a firstborn of your father, you need to be very careful. Because you are the foundation of that family. When the foundation is faulty, what will happen to the rest? Grass. 
And what is happening to them because of land? Your brother, your general, and they want to kill you. Drag you from the first, first bomb. So if you are a first daughter, you also have to be very careful. Hallelujah. And people want to fight you. And when you see you are living in a, a life that even your genome is getting married every day, getting job, everything is okay with them. You have to know your destiny has already adjusted. Pray, Master Jesus Christ. You are supposed to marry before your genome. And the way they are getting married, you think it's normal? Hallelujah. And many have been used to before you know if they don't drink alcohol, they cannot speak. Why? The prince of this world. I pray for as many that is listening to me that whosoever is responsible for what you are passing through will declare their obituary in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I want you to stand up this morning. I don't want to waste your time. Say, my father, my father. Wherever my Rebecca is, does refuse to see me celebrating. He said, as I'm clapping my heart, I must have a people are in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray this morning. Let us begin to pray. As many problems here that say I will not succeed, that say I will not do well, wherever they are, say, my father, my father, let them be exposed. In the name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth and pray. Pray, Master Jesus. The reason why you need to take this prayer serious, you see how Esau, destiny has been exchanged to Jacob. That's why you need to take it serious. The man you're supposed to buy, somebody is driving it. Jesus. The man you're supposed to marry, somebody has already got married. Your certificate, you have been looking for a job, somebody is using it to work. Jesus. And you are being told you have three years to live. Your traffic test is for medication. Each time you don't take that medication, it's like you are not normal. I rise, O Lord, and give me my destiny in the name of Jesus. My father, Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I will not die you. I will not die you. I will not die you. My family will not die you. My family will not die you. Yes, sir. I have some death. From my family, I have some of our family that we can't so it. It's a never shield, we are protected. It's a never shield, we are protected. It's a never shield. Yeah, 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 Everything that you say, devil can take it. You use it against you. What you say in your mouth, they can use it against you. So that best of the enemy, my family, is the house wind that has taken a rise from which we are coming. Ah! 
one for now. When I get past this land, all that one laws, I'm going to pick the house for my father. May I have yet, not yet, to yet, nothing to offer. What? The place of this world. Yourself with prayer, it is not easy to succeed. But you will succeed in this kind of name of Jesus. Amen. Say, my father, 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 my to look for a better job, the people that we gave me COS. And eventually he gave God. But he couldn't stay because of the salary. It was not enough. And he left that place. Hallelujah. He couldn't stay. He left that place. And he came to us working in our company. And now he was taking my company, he's going to go to COS. But they told him from the beginning, he said, Look, we will not give you COS. But you can work. But the money is there, but we will not give it to you. And this guy started working with us. As I'm as I speaking right now, the COS will be expired next year. And he's asking me, even the postgraduate, to even do something, they are asking for about 15 quid, 15,000. They don't even have 5,000. Now he's being frustrated. God is but the same one, where we are, somebody that came before him, they agreed. To give them a COS. You can see the power we're fighting. My question today who is following you? Mm-hmm. When you are facing family battle, Jesus. it's difficult to sustain your life. He said to me three days ago, he said, he said, what can I do? I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know because you were carried away because of money, money, everything, money. What can I do? He said, I don't know. The most funny thing is that he had two children and the wife is there. Instead of a wife, his wife to also look for somebody that will give her a COS, was to do another job. Pastor Jesus Christ. But what I see here, it is not his fault. Hallelujah. Because somebody is following him. 